Choo! What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Before we jump in, I gotta let you know that Deal Dash is sponsoring today's video. Deal Dash is a leading auction site operating for more than 10 years. They provide great deals and exciting auctions. All products are brand new and they have a huge variety. Cars, computers, go-karts, tools, beds, literally anything you can think of. I'm currently bidding on this Apple 12.9 inch Pro iPad to give to Macy for the holidays. So here's how it works. Every auction starts at zero. You buy a bid pack, for example, 10, 50, 100, or however many bids that you want. Then you use those bids on items like this iPad Pro that I'm bidding on. I'll show you. I just click right here and bid 50 bids on it. It's that easy. Deal Dash has some amazing deals. I've personally seen someone buy a wood fired pellet grill for as little as $39.05. No joke. I've seen brand new cars sell for less than a thousand dollars on Deal Dash. It's up to 99% off retail. With Deal Dash, you can save up to 99% off items. There's hundreds of auctions every single day and there's free shipping. So if you wanna get some great deals, click the link down in the description down below and use promo code FLAIR for 100 free bids with your first bid pack purchase. Huge shout out to Deal Dash for sponsoring today's videos. Brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do, I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Wow, bam! Look at this sucker. Let's go! <laughs> Greenheads, baby. Hawaiian so, mallet pizza, dude. So good, dude. That is insane. Shit! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. We're starting off here at the duck farm, the lake, the 17 acre lake. It's extremely, extremely cold out here. The wind chill is zero, ladies and gentlemen. The actual temperature is like nine or eight. The wind is blowing out of the north. Our lake is uh, frozen here, uh, but we should have the bubblers going out by by the blind. Probably got 30 minutes for shooting. So we kind of hurry up. I got to get bundled up, but check this sucker out. Look what we got dangling here. We got the old F-12, okay? It's a typhoon defense. Uh, not really designed for waterfowl, but hey, it's gonna do the trick. Wah bam! Look at this sucker. <laughs> this is the old duck slayer. So I'm doing a solo challenge. Jake's obviously here so he could film because GoPro looks like a bag of wieners uh, when you're duck hunting, and Lucy's here. So me, Lucy, and uh, an AR styled shotgun out here in zero degrees. We're gonna see if I can polish off my lip. Plus we have breakfast. Bacon, hash brown, eggs, super cold. I do have some nice duck gear on. I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of the fit, okay? This is the uh, lightweight, okay? Great as your very first base because it's super buttery soft. Then I've got the base layer. Then I've got the base layer quarter zip. Then I've got the HD hoodie. And then I got some nice Walmart pants. But under these Walmart pants, let me get naked here, hang on. Yeah, look right there. Oh yeah, we've got the old ducks base layer pants. So we're double, we'll doubled up everywhere. We got double pants, quadruple uh, shirts. Um, I've also got this, uh, check this out. I've also got the duck's coat. I mean, you know it's cold when your boy's got the duck's coat, okay? But not only that, but I've got the fleeced Sherpa wool lined vest. This is the old daily driver. It's pretty hard to get cold in this setup, okay? You put that coat on, you be sweating. So anyways, we got everything ready to go. A little AR shotgun action, solo hunting. We'll see how it goes. You guys stay tuned. Shoot! All right, we got ice. A little bit. Got cold last night. We still got ice. Holy smokes! We got two ice ears going. We've got two rippers. Boom. That one doesn't do a whole lot. I'll be honest. We're have to break some ice. Yikes, dude! It's well, it's open down there. It's it's open where our ice rippers are not. How does that make any sense? Oh, it's like this thing. Paper thin. We got, we're gonna have to give her the old breaky break. So we got a ripper there, and we got a ripper there. So I mean, that tells you how cold it is. Two of them full power running. We ran them last three days. Still couldn't keep this sucker open. So we either got to add some or maybe move some around so they're a little closer in the blind. Like that one just probably needs to be tilted up a little bit. Oh, it's not but frozen right here. It's not? No. Oh. It's just like slushy. Oh, a little slushy action. Maybe, they, maybe they're big slushy guys here. Um, Lucy, how you doing, Lucy? Lucy, you got to stay in there. It's cold. You don't need to come out here and play in the ice, Lucy. No, you don't. All right, well, we're gonna definitely get a late start. I can tell you that, so I'm gonna put the camera down. Yeah, we gotta break some of this ice, kind of open it up a little bit, let that current go through. Get it all, I'll show you guys all the decoys we got. Situated in here. These nice little prototype gloves. Don't tell nobody, I showed you that. Fans will be pissed. All right, so in here, we got... How you doing? Bunch of decoys. We gotta get all those out. We gotta break some ice, and uh, holy smokes, get them heaters ripping. Stay tuned. Sheesh, boys. I'm a sweating son of a gun. Luce, you're nice and dry. You stay in the mule. Well, we got two heaters on Lucy, so don't worry about that. About 10 after shooting light. Took us a while to get set up. We didn't realize how much ice we were on to break. 
them ice eaters didn't eat much last night. They, uh, they fasted, I guess, because this whole this whole hole was frozen. So we broke it up. Um, yeah, I'm sweating, even just wearing this freaking hoodie. I'm I'm a little damp, and it's probably gonna get colder now that I'm wet. But this is what we're dealing with. This is the old two pump chump, and uh, well, you can technically you'll shoot three, but this thing will only hold two because legally you can only shoot two. Well, three. You can you can have three in total. This can only hold two because there'll be one in the chamber. So just to just to show you guys legal reasons i can't can't make that go down any further so hey, look out oh it doesn't hold back interesting it doesn't hold back when there's not a a doohickey all right so i'll just make it easy bam bam wah bam so now there's only one in here add the second one definitely not the most efficient way but the safest safe fire i've got the old sniper sights on Oh yeah, looks like an M14 and a, or M16. No, it looks like a tar. Big big MW2 guys, tar. No, it's all, I only know MW2. I not the new one, like the old one. But anyways, this thing's got some freaking sick iron sights. I'm gonna be sniping these bad boys. I've seen worse. It's not great. It's not bad. It's it'll it, you know by the time maybe the birds start flying. We had one group of mallards. They're mallards, right? Mm -hmm, That's kind of what mm -hmm. they look like to me. Six of them. They uh they lit. Half the half the lake is open. Oh, there's a duck. There's a teal. What are you doing? Oh, there's a bunch, there's a, of there's bunch of teal. Is that an ice duck? Bunch of teal. The one's right here, right in front. Right in front, right in front. Let's go! Dude, that sucker ejects right on my face. I can't hear nothing. Me neither. I hit him with the old AR, buddy. Out there, Dude, yeah! She gave her the old pokey. It's you know how weird that was just to like change mags. Yeah. Like that was weird. That was that was odd what just happened there. Like, hang on, let me reload and just dumped a mag. That is so weird, bro. That's the weirdest feeling. Well, that was that single. Yeah. He came in. The group didn't the group didn't do much, but well, oh, he don't he don't take the long dongs. Hang oh, on. Oh yeah, yeah. Look out. Let's I think go it's in a little ice duck. I think it's a little ice duck too. Yeah. I don't think it's a t dude, if that green wing is still here, what are you doing, Rick? You've been here too dang long, you need to be going to freaking Mexico by now. That is so weird to That's duck so hunt, odd. dude. This feels so, dude, it was so weird seeing the duck through this. Like, Did you look down there? I don't know if you got, can they see what that looks like? It's, oh god, yeah. It's like the, like it's that shooting a duck like that's weird, that bro. It's trippy. It's literally like shooting an AR. I mean, it is an AR platform, but it's a shotgun that is 12 gauge. That is so weird. I mean, this thing's got a choke and everything. I, w I was gonna make sure there's just no, Lucy, hang on, Bubba. I know. I don't, what, what do you think about the ice? You think she can do it? Should I just send her and see what happens? Yeah, I, I mean, I, it's pretty shallow where that duck is. Lucy, Lucy, go fetch. Side. No, not this side. Rick. All right. Don't need to sacrifice a shell. <laughs> sacrifice the three and a half. No, oh, not anyway. the three and a half. You can't shoot it anyway. Yeah, that's true. I can't shoot her today. Lucy, fetch. Where's that bird? Is that bird, Lucy? Fetch. Go, go around. Fetch that bird. I wouldn't go that way, but you'll be alright. Good girl! Fetch up! Fetch up! Bro, she's pissed, dude. She's, she's, she's literally like, bah, bah. She's mad. She sounds like a dying freaking rabbit. Look at her breaking that ice. Break that ice, <laughs> break that ice Lucy! She's breaking that Come ice. Come on! Break the ice! You got it! Dude, she's literally walking on the ice right now, ice dude. Is. Come on, girl! Come on! Oh, she's about to get it. She's about to get it. Come on, girl! Fetch up! Good girl! Yeah, go back Good. to the bank. Yeah, that's where you should have went. Right? Yeah, it's open, open right there. Was, it was open. Good girl. <laughs> Come on, girl. Break the ice. Come on. Fetch up. Fetch up. Oh, <laughs> good girl. Coming around this way. Come here, girl. Oh, yeah. There she is. Hey, hey buddy. Go. What do you got? <laughs> hey, come here, girl. She bring it all the way in. Yeah, she did. Let's go. She hey, fetch up here. Yeah, that's a Drake green wing. What, what is he doing? doing? Holy smokes. I was gonna say he's gotta be looking good about right now. Oh God, yeah. Wow. Solo green wing teal. Good girl, buddy. Here, I better get that sucker facing you. You broke that ice like a champ, buddy. Yeah, that's the first time you've really been breaking ice. That was a good doggy. Sit. Hey, I don't think I uh, I didn't bring treats, but hey, listen. We got bacon. We got eggs. We got hash browns. 
Even if we don't kill any more birds, you get all that just for this. That was an impressive retrieve. She didn't see it go down. She just had to scan all the decoys and look at which one looked KO'd. And then you saw she was charging, breaking through like maybe quarter inch of ice, nothing crazy. Break through it like a champ, grabbed it, came back, broke through more ice, and brought it all the way. I mean, I didn't even have to leave the blind. No, you're dry. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Good work, buddy. Look, it's already frozen on her whiskers. So. Oh, God. Yeah. Dude, that's how cold it is out here. Shake it off, buddy. Well, a plumed out <laughs> Drake freaking green wing teal. That's crazy. What's he doing here? What are you doing, Rick? It's frozen. You're not supposed to be here still. Looks nice, though. I already have one of these mounted, so he's going in the, the frying pan. But, well, I guess, uh, hey, we didn't break all that ice this morning for nothing. That's all that matters. That's the worst thing. You get out here, you break ice. You set all these decoys, you do all this work, and you don't see nothing. And uh, he wasn't the only one. That big group didn't really look at us. We also we made a, a game time decision of not putting out the spinners, which could hurt, could help, doesn't really know, but I don't think you need it, and it might kind of just make this little pocket seem a little overcrowded. As long as the birds look and see the decoys, I think they're going to say, ooh, that's a nice little hot tub, a little jacuzzi action with some open water, and I think we'll be in business. He did it just perfect. I got to work on my first shot skills. It was kind of hard to find him in the iron sights, but once I got him on, he, he dropped, so... Well, we got one. You guys stay tuned. Within, I, didn't, I wasn't speaking the right language. I don't, they Maybe they speak Spanish. The south end. They were roosting here. I think they speak Espanol. Maybe I gotta try the other call. <laughs> no, they don't speak Spanish. I don't know what the deal is. It doesn't look like it's like a, we, we've got like a slushy bathtub right now. Like, what would you rather take a bath in when it's two degrees outside? Would you rather get a slushy one or one that's nice and warm and open? Ducks are thinking the same thing. I, I apologize. We gotta get, we got another one of these rippers. We actually have four of them. We have two deployed. I don't know if the, the electrical breaker is gonna be, a, the circuit's gonna be strong enough to, to support three. We'll give her a shot. We don't have them with us, of course. They're at the other farm, so we'll have to, uh, last year we had no problem with two, so I don't know if it's, I mean, it is really, really cold, or if these things just aren't putting out the power, if we don't have them positioned perfectly. Last year, we didn't really have a pro this problem, but um, we hadn't seen nothing for about the last hour. We actually went out there and broke some more of the ice out and moved the ice eaters a little closer, if you can kind of hear that hum. Also, probably doesn't help. It sounds like a, a jet is taking off for for takeoff here right next to us with the, the sound of the uh, ice eaters. But anyways, I'm looking at a bunch of mallards right now. I'm hoping that they might get bored and come check out the, uh, the slushy hot tub. And it'll give them the old wham bam. Stay tuned. She jammed on me. Well, it's about bacon o'clock here. Uh, we got about a dozen mallards, 150 yards out doing mallard things, not paying any attention to us. So one way to get them fired up, get that bacon going. R Lucy, I forgot I did bring you some treats. I brought her some jerky. This is from that that green wing you brought back. Oh, that's a good one too. Is that, that pretty good? All right. So breakfast haul. We got. Bacon, farm fresh eggs, ladies and gentlemen, straight out of the coop. Oh god, yeah. And it's Banjo's favorite. Banjo ain't even here. You ever had? Yeah, these do hickeys. Oh god, yeah. All these go hard. Mm -hmm. These are goaded. Okay, these are also expired for sure, but they're frozen, so it'd be all right. Of course, couldn't leave home without some ducks all meat, classic. And we just got some plates. And I forgot, Lucy. I feel really bad. I, I did have something for you, but that's all right. So, I'm gonna get to chefing. Either the ones that are taking a bath over there come hang out with us in our little icy bathtub, or we got some more that come around convinced, give them the old wham bam. You guys stay tuned.
do some anything about that. That is breakfast of champions there, boys. Well, for some dang darn dead reason, these ducks don't smell the bacon. I don't know, they got COVID or what the strat is, but they just, they didn't come in. Normally this bacon gets frying, they get all horned up. It just didn't quite work out that way today. Uh, tomorrow is a completely different weather. It's not going to be blowing out of the north. It's going to be blowing out of the south, which the blind we're in right here would not be any good. Uh, but there is a blind of the south that we haven't hunted in on my channel. We did a Guggen Squad video there, but that's it. If we don't see any more, then that might end up being might be, end up being the path that we need to take. I will say, the duck hunting is a lot more difficult today than I expected. Given that it's so cold, we kind of have open water. I mean, kind of. In comparison to the rest of the lake, it don't really look that nice. A frozen lake with an open pocket, you've got the only open area on the lake, they come inland. Somehow, we had almost only the, the only frozen area, even though we had to represent. Yeah, the birds just want to land everywhere but, so. Anyways, I'm going to get this served up. Lucy's definitely excited. Make her a nice little plate here. You want your plate loose? I'm going to get you, you got a full hashy, a couple strips of bacon. These hash browns are heavenly, though. Look at that. Fried up in the bacon grease. Oh, you're definitely getting a heart attack. Man, will it taste good while you have it. Oh, yeah. I mean, even when the birds aren't flying, you can't beat this. Not in the duck blind, boys. This is the deal. I'm going straight straight for the hash. I've not had one of these in probably a year, honestly. Yeah, we had little bits of tinfoil. Mmm. Oh, man. Frozen. I'm pretty sure they're from Walmart. Wow. Fry them up in the bacon grease after you cook the bacon. There's a process, okay? Bacon, hashies, eggs. You fry the eggs also in the bacon grease. Mmm. That's amazing. Mmm. Over easy egg? Jeez. So good. I'm go, Bubba. All right. Oh, if you see any more birds, we'll let you know. Stay tuned. Shoo! And we are back, folks. Next day, we've got a nice, strong south wind. Completely different conditions. It's like 40 degrees. Blowing out of the south. Somehow the lake is still frozen. Part of it, we're hoping in front of the south blind that we have not been to yet, is open. Um, we've got the side-by-side -side absolutely loaded down with all the decoys and, and Lucy. Hey, I don't. All the decoys needed. We're loaded up. And uh, well, we're going to head out to the south blind. Hopefully it's open. You guys haven't even seen this blind on this uh, on this channel. Like I said, I took the Googans out once in it. Um, it's pretty sl it's an OG blind. It's like a back the old farm. The reason why we're not on the old farm by the way, completely dry. Uh, we took one of those blinds and put it out here. Uh, so it's like an OG OG farm like OG OG. I'm talking you remember me and Banjo rented a U-Haul to put one in it and then drove the U-Haul to a marsh to scout and then dropped it off at that. There's very few of you guys that probably remember that, but we took a U-Haul, a giant giant bust U-Haul to move a blind. That's the blind that we're hunting out of. I've had this blind for, well, I guess, going on probably four or five years now. Anyways, we're going to head out there. Fingers crossed the water's open. Fingers crossed the birds are still around. And uh, hopefully we can knock them down. Stay tuned. Well, son of a gun. Froze. How? Rip. Hey, look at this nice blind. This is the blind we're going to sit in. Oh my gosh, this would've been great. This is all frozen. I mean, it's all fro all this right here, and then it gets open right there. All right, well, since um, this video's already a struggle, let's not make, uh, well, I wouldn't say not make matters worse. We're gonna make matters worse. We're gonna do what we can and get these birds down on the ground. Gonna have to, it's not bad. Luckily, it's not cold, dude. It is cold. We'd be shooting them in the ass because we'd be out the other side. Um, we're gonna go drive around and just try to find some open water and hunt, hunt the water. No blind, no cover. Well, some cover, maybe a little bit of cover. We're gonna make it work. Probably can't put out half this spread. We'll see. We'll see what we can find. We're gonna we're gonna go drive around, and uh, was that dog in the front seat? Yeah. How'd she end up there? Lu Lucy, why are you in the? How'd you get there? What? I don't, how do you do this? Hey, come on. Get, hey, get back. Come here. Come on. How did she do that? Go, go. No, what are you doing? Get in. Go, 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 go. All right, you stay there. She literally hopped over that. For what reason? We're all going, okay, anyways. All right, calling another audible. No blind. This is no blind challenge. No blind and no, no, no blind with a uh, AR shotgun. What could go wrong? Found open water, folks. Look at all this water. No blind, uh, but we found some good cover. I mean, there's some pretty thick stuff here that we could probably tuck in. We also remember there is a little blind How in the- Hey, 
We, all right, whatever. Uh, we, we, there's also a blind in the trailer. We'll just have to go make a second trip, which isn't a big deal. There. Yeah, the, right there. That's where we were trying to hunt, and that's all frozen, and then it opens right here. This is all open. So the wind's blowing this way means the birds should come this way, which means we'll put a big stringer out there. Probably sit right about there. yay, somewhere in here. Yeah. Not, bad. Not bad. And then get them. Get them coming in. So we're going to go ahead and get the spread out since we have extra work to do. we got to go probably go grab a blind. Um, or we can just crouch in the in the weeds. What do you think? Do you even need a blind? I don't know. We'll have to give it a try. See I think what it like I think there. we can get away with. I mean, I'm wearing ducks camo. I mean, there ain't no way they're yeah, gonna see yeah. us. So we may go. We may go no blind. Just try to crouch down in these weeds. I mean, that's if you're sitting down in this stuff. It's pretty thick. I bet it would be all right. Pretty tall. So all right, thing. we're gonna go ahead and get everything out, and uh, we'll let you know when the spread's out. Hopefully, we get to shooting. Stay tuned. Sheesh. Oh boys, the spread has been deployed. You can see we finally got some open water. You see all the decoys, all right there. And then we're just sitting in the bush, just giving her hell loose. That's right, no blind, no heater, no whining. All right, this is serious hunting right now. That's why I'm using an AR shotgun. All right, fingers crossed, boys. We got the uh, some pretty much some of the only open water on the lake. Probably some of the only open water in the area. Definitely the biggest. Second. I got we got a big open area. I mean, it's yeah, you guys can see it. It's open. <laughs> So we're plopped down in the weeds and uh, see if we can make some magic happen. Stay tuned. She gave me the old jam on that one. Look out. We got them down, boys. Good girl. Gotcha. Let's go. What do you got, man? Hey. hey, I mean, when you got to swat them, you got to swat them. I think we need to sit a little further down. Around there? Well, no, I think just down. Oh, so you're a little I'm closer. having a tough time. Yeah, there's a lot of brush in front of me. So, I mean, like, even just in this stuff, yeah. where I can stand up a little easier, but dude. Oh, green. <laughs> Greenheads, baby. Let's go. Good girl, Lucy. What do you think? We, yeah. It helps when you're where the birds want to be. I'll tell you what. All right, well, I'm going to get reloaded and not get back in the blind. Just get back in the old bush. Sometimes all you need in life is a little bush. Listen, I had to take that one. Yeah, you did. We weren't even sitting down yet. Watch up! Third shot. Dude, that one's that cycled great. I could have let them do it, but man. They were, they were just right floating right in front of me. I'm like, I'm not risking that. Yeah. The old three. I dude, after the first shot, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna get him. There's no way I'm gonna get him. And then that third shot, he tumbled. Come here, Lucy. Come on, girl. I think another drink. Think so? Yeah. Come on, girl. Here. Here. Come on. Here. Come on, girl. Good girl. Got another Drake, baby. Sheesh, look at that guy. Even with the old AR, we're still picking out the green, boys. Good work, Luce. Good work. Yeah, that was one of those if I was like seriously hunting and I had like more than one shooter with an actual normal 12 gauge, you would have let them land because they wanted in real bad. Dude, they were fluttering. I was like, oh, I know I can poke that one. As soon as I shot though, that wind yeah, that sucked them right out. out of there. Gave them the old boom, boom, the old triple tap. Done did it. Oh, you oh, thank you. Oh, one. thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it. She's like, wait, 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 where'd Show this one this come one from? <laughs> Starting off right though, two greenheads, baby. All right, well, let's get back in the bush. Shoo! Oh, Fetch! Oh. Gotcha! Is that another one? Yeah. Come on, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come here, girl. Right here, big Susie killer. It's just straight mallards though, dude. Straight up mallards. I don't even know if the camera caught that one. That might have been a little late, but it was close. close. What a difference one day makes. It is crazy. You got a strong south wind, 42 degrees. Versus yesterday, you would thought yesterday would have been the day. We're well, just in the right spot though. It's all about location, folks. <laughs>
There he yeah, is. Yeah, you're shooting low. Yeah, this thing's shooting a little low. You get him, girl. Come on, fetch up. She's pissed. She's mad at this duck. She's mad. You got it. Break the ice. There it is. You got it. Come on, girl. Good girl. Here. Yes, sir. Shoo! Pintail. Look at them long ass necks. Look at that. It's a long go. We got no sprig, but hey, it is just one dumb one. That's all we needed. <laughs> God, this thing sucks. So see how it cut? Look how it cuts. Cuts oh, yeah. the shell. Gets caught on something, doesn't oh, it? Oh my God. You talk about messing it, dude. Oh my God, you see all these ducks? Is there a bunch more? Oh yeah, you, up here in the clouds. You see these giant bunches? Straight up. Oh yeah, 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 bunch of birds. Holy Well, crap. we had a whole bunch of freaking mallards. One of them came in. Oh, there's there's a few. They're, there's a bunch. They're right here. Jeez. Let's go! I didn't know what you were doing. Let's go! Just smoked his ass. He's down, boy. Oh, really? He's down. Look. At, okay. So here's the problem. Oh, really? This is what we're dealing with, dude. Yeah. I just smoked that Drake freaking green wing, dude. That's a stud. Stud, right in the face. Get, woo, yeah. dude. Well, I was gonna let him come back, and then I'm like, dude, he's killable right here. I didn't know he was sudden, behind us. Boom! Smoked. <laughs> <laughs> Go. We got him! Let's go! Another greenhead! Ready? Fetch! Fetch! Dude, out of nowhere. He came in. Huh? Look at him, look at him. Let's go! Another greenhead! Solo! A bachelor! I'm sitting here and Austin and I hear, hear their, you just hear the wings. He sits down next to them geese. I stood up. I don't I think the camera got it again. It was another another one of them close calls. Good girl! Let's go. What's up with the green today? Big green guy. Oh, he's got a little brown. He's green. No bands? Another young one. He's a young guy. <sighs> Dude, we couldn't make it happen with the freaking groups. We've been watching thousands and thousands. So he must have peeled off on his own. Thought he lost his, uh, lost the flock he was with. He landed, look, like, right, see, them two little honkers. They convinced his ass to come in. No calling, nothing. You can tell the sun's out, so we, had, we were just kind of laying low. I wasn't trying to po poke my head up. Or anything, we're watching a few more birds over the river, and all of a sudden I just hear, and then splash. See him sitting there, stood up, jumps up, <laughs> smacked him, baby. Well, that'll polish off the old six six duck limit. A few mallards, pintail, and a green wing, and we got green wing from yesterday. So, Lucy, you ready to go home, buddy? It's so sunny now. It's like this is that was that was dumb luck. You see how how thick the cover is from this side? That's what I've noticed is with a lot of the birds that we shot, especially early. When they came in low, had no idea. It's the ones that were up high, I think maybe they maybe did. saw us. But he came in so low back there. We have really good cover on this side. So even without a blind, with the AR shotgun, we were able to shoot a limit of ducks. But we're getting the heck out of here because this is a migration day and we don't want to mess it up. These birds are going out to feed right now and they might come back and give the old loaf strat out here at the lake. So. We're gonna quickly pick up all the decoys and get the heck out of here so that way they come here we'll come back for another episode so take these guys back and get them cleaned up and see you guys in the kitchen stay tuned Shoo! all righty folks we are at walmart and look who joined now that there's food yep. he, he missed, job. He missed out good job. they were getting after good it show. took two days but hey we got her done uh we are at walmart and we are gonna make a dish we've never had with this duck and i don't know if it's gonna be good could be nasty potentially we're thinking duck pizza okay now hear me out hear me out listen listen hear me pizza really? rice. that's that's a lot of enriched rice yeah. wow hear me out take the meat turn it into italian sausage crumblies make a pizza bake the pizza duck pizza i i, I think it has it has a potential it has potential uh so we got to find the stuff to make pizza here's some sauce um pizza sauce homemade style pizza sauce that looks fancy i yeah. kind of like that yeah, like traditional that should be enough okay pizza sauce 
You think we should? Should we just rock the host? Little just guys. Little, mini little personals. Little guys. Oh, three. we need to get oh, a little bit of mods like oh, that. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah. We need to get yeah, some yeah, nice mods. I three, mean, that's perfect. Three. There's three. That's perfect. It's almost like it was meant to be. Yeah. Dude, only two dollars. Sheesh. That's a steal. This, this is, is a steal. steal. So we got. We'll make individual pizzas. We've got the sauce. Um, cheese will be over there. We need to probably, I think I have most of the seasonings. We'll show you how we're gonna make it. We're either gonna slice it really small or we might grind it up. I don't know if I've got a coarse enough grinder because you kind of want like, you want like little nuggies. Yeah. You know, yeah. like little like like little olive size, maybe a little like, a little smaller than olive size. So I don't know how you so get that. Are we just doing meat and cheese? Is that your idea? I mean, it, we each get our own pizza technically. Yeah, I mean, you do whatever, you, if you want a Supreme, I mean, you can get wild with it. If you want, some, what about an all meat? You get some some Canadian bacon on there, some pineapple. A little pepperoni. You big pineapple guy? I mean, we get. Some, he, we can get some, he's a big pineapple. Guy. Is he? Sure. You like pineapple on pizza? Yeah. That he, I can tell. I he just like, looks like one. I don't one. order it all the time, but like I'll eat it. Low key, low key. It's good. Low key goes it's hard. Good. It has its time and place. No, no, zero. Never, really? Never, don't even. You've tried it and you're just like, no. Nah, I don't like that shit. You, have you tried it though or no? Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's pretty decent. Like once in a while, you're like low key. This slaps. What's going on here? Crumbled bacon? Yeah. Wait, there's no way it's real. Oh yeah, you never had this? Wait, what? That's the thing? Yeah, that's I mean, that's just throw it, just on, put it on top of stuff. Oh, yeah. it's kinda of like the Tostitos okay. ones that are like yeah. real small. Okay, okay. All right, all right, I'll give you the pass. We'll, we'll get that. Um yeah, I mean we technically we all have our own pizza, so if you want to do something on your own, uh we can. Cheese. Cheese is the biggest thing. So yeah, you could do a tomato mozz basil. Like margarita. Style. Like margarita. Yeah, fancy guy over you could here. get fancy if you want to get fondue fancy. Man. Hey, fondue slaps, all right? Don't be hate. Or you could just do, I'm an I'm a all meat guy. Like, I'll just throw like a yeah. ton of meat on it. But I also kind of want the authentic taste. Yeah. So we might have to make a little bit of both. Is there mods down there? Oh, here, I mean, you want a block of mods? You want this kind or no? I mean, that would, that would yeah. that'd be enough for everybody. Yeah. There's a big block of it for like a margarita style. Oh, God, yeah. Or we can get, we can get a little bit of both. And then a pizza blend. Oh yeah, no, here's whole milk. Let's go, that looks expensive. So that really? over this, put this back. Well, it depends if you want the authentic I think, I think stuff. You need the depends on what you're long. making. Yeah, depends man. on what you're making. You know what I mean? Get, you want a pizza blend? Sure. You gonna do the old two color? Sure. So yeah, I think mozz. I think that should be good. I'm trying to think. What other, what other kind of cheese do you use? That's probably about it, right? Provolone, mozzarella blend, potential. I think that's good because then you can do blocks of mozz. You can could do, do one with this. that, and you can do one with that. Yeah. I think that should be that should be it. Should we get pineapple for banjo or no? Sure. Duck and pineapple. I mean, I feel like, like the, the, there'll be little cups of pineapple yeah, back yeah, here. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get yeah. let's get some pineapple. I might look for. They got any Canadian bacon yeah, around I was here? Say, you get oh, Canadian here's some. Bacon. I mean, there's real hard pepperonis here. That's that oh, real. Go. Oh, what's going on there? Canadian Diced bacon. ham. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we'll I'll get it. that. We'll do it. Canadian bacon guy. Or no? Low key goes hard. Canadian yeah. bacon and, and pineapple. It just that warm. Pineapple. I don't know, man. It's something. We might have to get. I think we should get a little I pineapple. Think there's pineapple in that. It's like oh, circular, really? And you probably could just cut it up. Oh, can can pineapple? I don't know if that's is that, that pineapple slices. Oh, that'll work. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. Just cut it in half. Yeah, easy. Yeah. You're not feeling that it. Should be illegal. So what? Do you, what's your plan? Just straight up. Straight, 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 mal straight, straight mallard. A couple of chunks of this. Some mallard and mozz. Yeah, you call it a day? Mallard and mozz. Mallard and mozz. All right. Well, we got all the ingredients to hopefully make three personal duck pizzas. Hopefully it's not ass. Stay tuned. Shoo! Look at the meat right here, boys. This is all of the ducks we shot with the AR shotgun. We, we're we going to try to... I mean, it's gonna be pretty finely ground. Is that okay? You cool with that? Because a lot of times sausages, like yay, we're gonna be like, yay. Well, but it's just gonna be like ground beef, right? What like sprinkling ground beef? Yeah. If you kind of put it in there as a patty and, and then just, just like lightly chunk it up, yeah, not you can get, I'll, make bigger pieces. I'll make patties. Yeah, okay, I'll all right. be all right. All right, all right. So we're gonna start with grinding this meat. There it is. Oh, she's, she's eating. Hey, Ooh. say it, don't spray it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Take it. Take it. <laughs> you get, that's a lot of meat, Banjo. A lot of meat. God dang, boy. That'll do, baby. That's a lot of meat. Dude. Imagine just slopping that right off a pizza. Just a, just a, just a giant pie. That's, that's your sauce for the pizza. We make the crust of the pizza out, <laughs> yeah. of, that. out of the meat. Mm. Yeah, this, I was going to say, this is probably going to be a, more excessive. Cause you really just crumble it. Maybe, you, maybe you like got, a lot of meat. We got three pizzas. We have True. three pizzas. I'm gonna throw just a little oil, just enough to get her, get her situated here. Oh. Good lord, that's, that's a lot. That's gotta be two that's, and a half pounds. Yeah, well, I was gonna say probably at least two. So go, oh my lord, this is sheesh. And go ahead and of course, as you guys know, we got some all meat. And start, <laughs> st really, start it off with that. It's a nice little base layer, okay. Base layer, check. Do we have measurements? 
No, I, just, I would season heavily. Just yay? Just give Put her... Put that whole thing in there. Really? I don't... How about that? So this is Italian seasoning. Okay. Then we've got some paprika. That a little goes a long ways. I don't think we need to go too crazy. Cool it smells like smoked paprika. Parsley. Which is, I'm guessing, already in the Italian seasoning. But go ahead and throw a little parsley in there. What, what's fennel? Fentanyl. Fennel seeds. F fentanyl? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> really? I was looking forward to that. Do we grind this? I don't think... That smells like Italian sausage, yeah, though. Yeah, that must be like the thing, right? Oh. Yeah, I mean, that smells just like Italian sausage. That must be the... You're definitely supposed to grind this. No, you can eat the seeds. Really? Yeah. be a little potent. Okay. I just want to mix it up real good, real fast, and make sure all the seasoning's there, and then, I agree, I think having it like a little patty... And just chunk it up. Just yeah, like a it. dice action, you know? Just a little chop chop. Dang, dude. Those are sick. Yeah, I've never had those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to be heavy on the meat. Oh, perfect timing. Oven's ready. How's that look? All those years of Lunchables paying off? Yeah. Hell yeah. It's like a big, it looks like a big ass <laughs> Lunchable. It pretty much so. is. It's not right on the crumbles, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the crumbles look, look pretty mint, I'll be honest. All right, boys, I'm going to put some of this just straight meat in there. It smells Italian. Dang, dude. Not bad. I don't know if I can tell that's duck. The texture is, uh, it's a little, uh, chewier. Yeah, spongy. Spun, yeah. Dude. A little bounce back to it. Yeah. That's got bad, some though. good spice. Yeah, it, it tastes like, it tastes just like Italian sausage. Pizza blend or whole milk mozzarella? I feel like I'll each go with pizza blend. All right, all right. Respect, respect. Starting with, you got a big, quick base layer? Mm -hmm. Are you a cheese on top or, or toppings on top? Because I've seen it go both ways. I just feel like toppings on top is normal, right? I feel like that's pretty normal. Yeah. yeah. That's looking real good. All right, so you've got some nice blend cheese. Yep. Then you got Canadian bacon, a.k.a. ham. Can't go too much with the ham because we got to put a lot of that I was going to say that you got to... So gotta... I'm putting four pieces. Okay. One All right. Each slice. Yep. Okay. And then you've got some... That slaps. Yeah, I'll be honest. That's really good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is like yes. uh, yes. I say this is like yeah. uh, Olive Garden. You yep. just tell me when. It's not gonna be very precise. I feel like that's pretty good. You good. I like it. That look good. Yeah. Put I'm, cheese on top I'm or leave it raw. A sprinkle on top. Just a little bit. I think we gotta sprinkle a little. I mean that looks dang good, dude. It does. Oh yeah. It kind of looks mint. Dude, low key. That goes hard. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for an all meat. I, I agree, banjo. You need the old base layer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A little base layer. Okay. And it's gonna be the, the triple meat, the triple threat. Got the Canadian bacon. And we're gonna lay down. Okay. And we've got ready pizza, ready real crumbled bacon. I'm just gonna crumble that around. That looks good. Oh, yeah. So bacon. So we got Canadian bacon, American bacon, Italian sausage. Nobody can complain that we're not going heavy with duck. I mean, there's a lot in there. There's a lot. And then go back with some cheese. You know, I might even get wild with a banjo. Whoa. Might have get this. Whoa. This one's got some mild cheddar. And, oh, it's just cheddar and mott. So I guess it's just a little bit of both. But just... Just to add a, a little, little color. Bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a freaking, that's a pie there. That'll get you fired up. All right. You ready? Yep. I'll go some real, real. This layer of duck down first. Ooh, starting oh. off with a bed of mallard. Sheesh. <laughs> mallard and mots. Mallard and mots. Right, I'll just, cut, I can cut you some more. Just that might not be sufficient. Chunks around here. Oh, yeah. That's just straight up. Mots and mallard. That's, really? what, that's all that is right there. Yep. That's it. Three you, you want more of this? You want to cover it all, or do you keep her? I don't. Maybe we'll sprinkle a little bit. Of okay, this to okay. cover the gaps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mallard and Mott. Mallard Mott, uh, Hawaiian, Hawaiian. Yep, Hawaiian and all meat. The old triple threat. All right, four twenty-five. I'm guessing like ten minutes. I didn't read the package. We'll have to go read it. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, pizza. How you looking, Rick? Oh golly. Did she look done? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it smells dang good. Millie, this is a hot oven. He's like, damn, that smell busted. All right. Start with, go ahead and cut, cut that guy up. How's that looking? Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a meaty son that of a gun there. That is a meaty son of a gun. That's just straight up meat in your mouth. Yeah. That's El Mallard Mott's. Next, we got Banjo's Hawaiian. Oh, yeah. Bam. Yeah. This looks like a little cheeseburger pizza. It does look cheeseburger. It literally it looks just like a cheeseburger pizza. Oh, yeah. All right. Hawaiian. All meat. Ultra. Lots of meat. Triple meat. Damn. Good. All right. So, we've got the triple threat meat. Hawaiian. And we've got Mallard Mott's. Which one are we going for first? Mallard Mott's? If you want, if you want Mallard Mott's Let's in your try mouth. some Mallard Mott's. All right, Mallard Mott's. Here we go. Good Lord. There's a lot happening here. Here we go. Mmm. Just molten or what? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hot. Mm. Could have waited like two minutes. Mm -mm. Nope. Dude. That tastes like straight up Italian sausage. There's mm -hmm. nothing ducky about that. Mm. At all. No, wow. That's incredible. Dude, the little, it was your little fentanyl is what it was. <laughs> little fentanyl. Yeah, I'm, dr I'm just dripping everywhere. Oh, I know. Right Hang on. Wow. I'm absolutely shocked. You can't tell that's duck. I mean, that we just. really good. We just started mixing. That is straight up Italian sausage meat. Yeah. That is incredible. Like, I just, there's not a ducky hint in my opinion at all. Mmm. What do you mean by that? That's fire. I could eat this whole pizza. Really? Uh-huh. Banjo is about to eat the whole thing. Wow. I mean, if you guys want duck to taste like Italian sausage, you can do it, okay? If you want to mix it into spaghetti or anything else. I mean, I, that was one I was like, it's going to be a little eh, tangy. That one a straight fire. Oh, yeah. Lots of cheese. Little cheese bowl. Don't lose that. Look at that. Oh. Sheesh. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. So oh, good. my God, dude. That. Is crazy good, Jake. I'm sorry, this one beats yours. This really? one's up there, dude. Bacon? It, that's, oh. That bacon goes hard. Dude. Yeah. The mm. Canadian kind or the American kind? Both. American. Really. So good, dude. Mm. That is insane. Yours is gonna be really good. Cause I personally, I like Hawaiian pizza. I I think the the mouth is great, but mixing in, yep, that bacon really makes it taste just yeah, like a flavorful. straight pizza. It doesn't mm -hmm. seem a little off. Mm. That one's really good. What do you think? Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. No, that's, that's his deal. Yeah, that's what like. What is that? Is that the Canadian bacon? That uh, the like? Canadian and the actual bacon. I mean, they both taste mm -hmm. so. It it makes it taste like an all meat pizza. Mm -hmm. Like when you go to you know order an all meat, it yeah. tastes just yeah, like it because of like that. A supreme stuff. Yeah, like everything on it. Mm -hmm. That is gas. That's that's delicious. Mm. I like the two cheeses too. The two cheeses yeah, might have been might have been the deal. They might have been the deal. I, yeah, I would say that one beats the the Mott's and Mallard, but the Mott's and Mallard was just as good. It just didn't have the variety of flavor. And speaking of variety, this dude put fruit on his pizza. Yeah. So we're talking about, talk about variety here. Oh yeah. Hawaiian Mallard pizza. Mmm. Oh shit. You might have done something there. <laughs> you might have done something. I know you're not a pineapple guy, but dude. 10 out of 10. Dude, that's, I will say that's. Does that beat the last one? I think so, yeah. Really? Yeah, dude, mm -hmm. the pineapple goes so hard. Yeah, the sweetness. <laughs> and we may change your mind on the pineapple. Maybe. It, dude, it's... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That one, by far, is my favorite. Cookbook worthy. So good, dude. All right, All right. stick, All right, stick right. a nice piece of pineapple in your right mouth. Here. Yeah, go for him. Part party in your mouth, or... All right, you might have me. Hey, oh, hey, let's go. The dude, whole I don't one. know what it is. That's so that good, dude. To it, yes, dude. The, it's like refreshing yeah, and it's sweet. It's so good. It's so yeah. good. Uh -huh. That might be the deal there. Hawaiian Angel, mallet pizza, dude. Angel around and found out. Yeah, he, 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 <laughs> we, we joke. We're like, we'll throw pineapple on. It's going to piss everybody off. All you haters say pineapple does not bling, belong on pizza. You're wrong. You are it absolutely, absolutely does. Yeah. That is amazing. That's that is insane. good. I, I would rank Banjo's a 10. I like think mine, mine a nine, and yours an eight. Yeah, like, I would. I, they're I all agree. very good. All really good. Very, right right very good. Yeah. Well, if you guys harvest some ducks and you want to try something that is, I mean, we're mind blown, right? Like, oh, I'm yeah. like, I can't because like we'll mix it with spaghetti, and of course it tastes fine. Mm -hmm. This is straight up just ground meat seasoned. Mm -hmm. You guys saw how we seasoned it. We just winged. I'm sure there's an actual recipe. Tastes nothing like a duck with the pizza. I mean, you could you could make a whole pie and serve it to somebody. Yeah, and they'd have no I was idea. I was gonna say out of all of them. 
you would make a whole pizza out of this one. Yes. Like a full size. Oh god, oh, yeah. Like Hawaiian. Oh, it'd oh, yeah. go hard. We it, should, it'd go. It'd go hard. Actually, make like an go, Italian like a real one. Out yeah. Of them, smoke them. Cut them up. And then actually make a real... Now that we know you can do pizza, yeah. I mean, you've got pizza, you got calzones. Ooh, I mean, we can start We yeah. can start getting a little crazy. You big deep dish guy? We could always get... Oh, yeah. We could always get... Oh, really? We might get crazy. But if you guys want to try it, I highly encourage it. It was absolutely delicious. And if you guys want any of the stuff that we used in today's video, it's linked down in the description down below at duckswaterfowl.com. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you in. Peace.